interesting artist because he's uh, very multi-talented. Um, he does um, these amazing charcoal drawings um, and he also does video work and he also does these um, uh, rapid prototyping uh, sculptures. Uh, which he does on these 3D printers. He had this uh, collapsed bridge which, uh, which we purchased for the collection. It's, it's interesting to see a sort of traditional wooden bridge which is sort of rotting and falling apart actually being created on sort of the latest in modern technology which is the uh, 3D printing. I mean, I'm absolutely fascinated by uh, simulating real-world structures and, and, um, and, and seeing how they would uh, react to things like tsunamis and, and actually, you know, measuring the, the, the density of the materials. And, and so it, it, is, it does have a, um, a relationship to the real. It's a pier that's a simulation of a pier that is built to scale. I'd actually go and walk along the pier, um, photograph the pier, get schematic drawings, uh, measure the size of the bolts, the planks, all of these sorts of things and try and um, represent it to scale using the different measuring systems in the 3D program. I guess Charles you know, uses use architecture as, as a way to build structures. I'm, I'm using these kind of CAD programs and 3D simulation technology to construct the, um, the environments and then disassemble them um, through um, physics simulators and, and, and the appearance of real world events. I just liked it because it sort of fitted into the idea of degeneration. Um, I've got quite a few works which deal with degeneration and um, because if you look at space, space goes through a similar cycle to what human life does. You've got sort of birth, um, maturation, degeneration and then death and then the cycle starts again.